I've gotten three CG violations the last 24 hours trying to talk about Iran, but I don't know, fuck it, I'll give it one more go. The Iranian athlete you're watching right now is named El Naz Rakabi. She's a world-class rock climber and she recently competed in Seoul, South Korea without a hijab. Oh no, her hair is showing. This quiet little demonstration pissed off the Iranian Climbing Federation, so they immediately confiscated her passports and cell phone. She was escorted and then detained at the Iranian embassy, where the government was like, yeah, if you want to seek asylum, then your husband's fucked, and so she's like, yeah, I guess I'll go home. E except she's not going home, she's en route to Evan prison right now, where they'll hold her until they can figure out what to sentence her with. And if the name of the prison sounds familiar to you because you caught my last vid before it got taken down, yes, it's the same one that's on fire right now due to a suing accident. I, I mean, actually, it caught fire while she was climbing up the rocks. Just a quick recap on how we got here. The women of Iran started protesting because the morality police unalived a woman for accidentally showing too much hair while wearing a hijab, and then subsequently trying to cover it up by saying she had a heart attack. The men and younger people started joining the protest because they're still salty about a fixed 2009 election that kept the religious right in power. So in order to quell the protests where they're most intense, the government just started kidnapping kids in high school. And yes, I am shamelessly showing the kids protesting for a little bit of shock value because currently the death toll for them is just under 30. I want to be clear, that figure is just kids under the age of 15, we're not counting all the college students that they rounded up and sent to re-education camps, and we're not talking about all the political dissenters and protesters that they sent to the urban jail. D did I mention the government set their own jail on fire to get rid of political dissenters? Yeah, they shot tear gas canisters in certain wards, and then shot live rounds to ignite them. Oh, but if you were worried that the prison fire would unalive any hardened criminals convicted of real crimes, wouldn't worry about it, they got a heads up. I, I know all the fuckery is hard to follow, so in two simple sentences, it's young people are protesting the religious right and they're getting rounded up and this girl might have an accident in jail that the sewing room's gonna catch on fire again.